Oh, George, you had a Tetch pub one time? Yes. And, and how often did you Tetch it in your time? Well, uh, when I started Tetching it in, with uh, Reed from Shannon, it would last 25 years. 25 years. And, but in, in the meantime, it is along the ridge here, what we call the Bobs. That would have to be done uh, maybe once every five years or so. Mm. But uh, the whole secret of keeping Tetch lasting long was to make sure that it was the water flew off, uh, flowed off it quickly, and if uh, a din came in it, moss would go in a place like that, and that would hold the water yeah. and moisture, and the thatch would rot underneath it, and it would get, um, disintegrate very quickly, you know, in a couple of years, and then you'd have a hole there, so... Uh, see and were there any way to protect it? The bluestone. Bluestone. Bluestone are soft at the top of it. If you shake it along there, the birds didn't pull off the, the rods and it also killed all the insects and, and uh, flies that build the cobwebs and that sort of stuff down along there and the water will flow off it more freely. And it, that's why it would last 25 years. And who used to attach it for you? There was a fellow called Paddy Craven. He lived in the. Um, House down near the race course, he was from down Curran Dollar, Hedford area. He was quite good. Another man called Michael Martin, he came from Carla Strand. He lives in Pindar, he didn't follow me. And before that, in my mother's time, they had um, straw, wheat straw, which was used and was quite good. But it, in those days, you just cut the wheat and it was kept in sheaves. And it didn't go through the threshing meal, and that would last quite a while. But it certainly wouldn't last as long as the reed. But it, it was, we started using it then when we went through the um, combine harvester, and sure it didn't last five years. So we had to, that's when I changed to the, to the reed, which was much better at the time. But nowadays, they don't uh, give us that much. They get this rye uh, straw from Turkey. Which isn't very good either. I, I don't think it's good. From what I've seen of it since, it certainly doesn't last as long as a weed. And I've got, that's it there now. And can you get insurance on touch roofs nowadays? Uh, well, I had, a, I had an insurance, but I never had a fire or never had a claim. And I suppose that's how they uh, judge you on what they charge you. And um, you, you had a pub, how long did you have the pub for? the? Tetch Cottage in Northern Moor? Oh, I suppose um, my mother bought it in 1946, I think, mm. after, after the war, uh, or just at the end of the war. And the man who we bought from, Michael Fahey, he had been a native of the place, but went to America for 17 years. He left Northern uh, Moor and Turnip Moor, where he came from, and he worked for a year or two in Keynes Pub in Gala, which was uh, just down from the Cambridge, just about four doors down from the Cambridge on the main street. And he told me that when he left, Guinness was nine pence, nine old pence pint. Pint, right? And when he came back after 17 years, it was ten pence. One pen, one pen. One penny. And there was a lot of uh, discontent and uproar and I caught him and what did we tell him that we up a penny. But there wasn't much inflation there. <laughs> that was the start of inflation. And I can tell you this much, <laughs> it wasn't long until it passed the tin bob stage. <laughs> and there wasn't too much notice taken. And now, and now it's about 350 or 380 a pint. And uh, was that the pub long before you took it over? Do you know when it was open first? I don't, but I have records of it. It was rented in 1912, I think, for... £12 a year. A lot of them places were she beans first, didn't they? And then they did, I think you so, could yeah. buy a licence then yeah, after that. Yeah, and then you had grocery as well. <coughs> I remember as a, a young fellow going to school, Miss Conniff had it. She, her brother was in America, and I think she, I don't know if she was in America or not, but her brother, James Conniff and Kate Conniff ran, ran it. They were from Town, which is the peninsula of, uh, that goes out opposite Salt Hill. You see, it comes from the Mary side. And uh, they had it before McFahey, I gather. But I do remember a cat, they used to sell sweets, 
and there was a box of sweets on, on the window. And I remember a cat cuddled up, sleeping happily, it was one day we were passing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if somebody would in for sweets, they were the sweets they got, and nobody died.